Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here, and today is Cinco de Mayo. Now, that does hold some sort of historical importance to some people in the world, but for us Americans, it's just an excuse to get drunk. And uh, normally on Thursdays, I like to upload just a, a simple catch and a buzz beer review, but today I've got the Corona Extra going with a, uh, a Mexican beer on this festive holiday. So, let's go ahead and pop the top on this bad boy. And, uh... I've had so much of this beer throughout many, many years. I'm, honestly, it's not one of my favorites out of Mexican beers. I really prefer Modelo. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, and at the same time, Dos Equis are pretty awesome too. But uh, anyway, and El Presidente. But um, anyway, we've got a nice big 25-ounce bottle. I want to wish all of you a very happy Cinco de Mayo. I hope you all have fun. Stay safe out there, whatever you end up doing. And uh, yeah, this one's for all of you, so cheers. I want to give a shout out to Florida 32 Ounce, a fellow uh, beer drinker here in my state. Uh, also give a shout out to uh, Chad Barris. You know, I've enjoyed a lot of his videos. I know sometimes he has a negative impact on some of the community. Some people, you know, may not like him, whatever. I think he's a, a pretty cool guy. Hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, get together and blaze one day and have a beer. Uh, also want to give a shout out to R. Esco, another awesome guy in the malt liquor community. Uh, does a whole lot of really awesome drinking videos. Definitely worth checking him out. Uh, cheers. Let's see, who else? Um... I don't know, I'm terrible about doing these shout-outs. I really don't think I had enough. I uh, definitely want to give a shout-out to uh, Flavio Toronto Fire. He's talking about shutting down his channel. Hopefully he doesn't. I know he'll probably still be doing stuff with uh, T.Heap, but I did like him having his own independent channel as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much... Man, I, I, I know there are so many awesome people out there I should give shout-outs to, like Gare Bear Mustafa, uh, Gare Bear Productions. He has a... Uh, fun little YouTube channel as well. Um, got a lot of friends from all over the world that I could give shout outs to. Obviously, Kaylee and Simon over at the Devonshire Idiots. They have a lot of fun doing their challenge videos. And we recently did our baby food and beer blended up challenge. It was uh, definitely pretty gross. If you didn't see it, go and uh, check out my uploads and you'll find us uh, only one or two back. Definitely not something that I ever want to do again, but uh, it was an interesting experience nonetheless. Um, Anyway, let me think about uh, who else to shout out here in a minute. Cheers. You know what always sucks is I can't ever burp when I try to do these uh, drinking videos for some reason. I guess maybe I'm not relaxed enough or whatever, but um, anyway, uh, let's see, who else to shout out? We've got Cutlery Lover, awesome YouTube channel, love his stuff. I don't really comment a whole lot of his videos, although I do watch a lot of them, so Jeff, if you watch, I, I do uh, watch your videos and I enjoy what you put out. Um, the uh, Everyday Carry stuff is what I kind of started watching mostly when I first found your channel, and then I uh, found that you did, I started looking back and saw all the... Um, the hot sauce reviews and stuff uh, that you do, pretty cool, uh, cool stuff, and you do a, a wide range of, of uh, topics, so always something interesting to find on your channel. Also, of course, got to give shout-outs to my favorite channels out there, groups like Reckless Eating. Um, they, you know, have a, a huge, massive following over in California and all around the country, all around the world. Uh, you've got Dude Where's My Challenge, awesome, uh, Polly and Matt over in, in you know, the UK, they do some really crazy ass challenges they were just featured in uh, vice i don't know if it was on their website or if they did a vice documentary on them or what but um i thought that was pretty cool showing how i guess they're better than uh, american challengers and I, I don't know maybe i just i feel like a lot of times there's a lot of bias to um, foreigners in a sense just because 
we as Americans like accents. I like uh, you know hearing other cultures, other people. So I don't know. There's just something about somebody with an accent that makes them good salesmen, that makes them good uh, people. I mean, when they're dealing with people from abroad, from other places. But um, you know, they're definitely uh, one of my favorite channels to watch. I enjoy all of their stuff. I'm trying to think of who else to give uh, shout outs to today. Um, of course, you got Metal Madman. I enjoy his stuff. I do. Um, I guess he's kind of uh, back into doing his beer chugs and kind of in-your-face videos, which is, can be fun sometimes. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else do I really watch a lot of? Um, Stephanie Conroy. Uh, she has uh, some awesome kids that loved uh, you know watching my hot sauce videos, which I'm trying to get back into doing more of. There's just been so much drama uh, in the chili community and, and of course if you guys aren't a part of the the spicy world the spicy community and Facebook uh, all those different groups that they have there's just so much drama everybody fighting over stupid stuff you know whether somebody who grew a pepper first or you know whose hot sauce is better or just whatever there's always some kind of stupid drama that gets brought up and recently I had to you know cut a friend loose and that's unfortunate because I really liked watching his YouTube channel. I thought he was a good guy. Um, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't like getting ultimatums. So when somebody tells me, I'm not going to be friends with you unless, you know, your friends, go ahead and unfriend me unless you're, you know, if you're friends with this person. And that's kind of stupid. It's childish to me. I don't go and run back and forth and tell one person what somebody else said and, and vice versa. I don't really give a shit. I stay out of all the drama. And that's pretty much what I told the guy in the post and said, hey, you know, look, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I said, I, I'm friends with this guy and I, I don't know what the uh, what the big deal is. I, I don't know what the drama is, but, you know, you know, I, I, you know, what's going on kind of thing. And I just got deleted. I didn't get any kind of answer, nothing. Just removed from his friends list. And then I get a question, you know, messages later, like, I guess, wanting to chat and talk with me when I was already asleep. And I just woke up pissed off about the whole thing. And so I had to just kind of cut that friendship loose and say, well, you know, best of luck to you. Um, it sucks that it had to go down that way, but I really don't give people too many second chances like that when they're people that I've just met over the internet. It's like, you know, I thought that was kind of childish and stupid. Just talk to me. You didn't have to just delete me off of your friends list. I thought it was pretty shitty and childish. But anyway, I think I uh, burped a little and cleared up some room. So let's go ahead and take another uh, chug out of this. Salud. at chugging these beers but I want to do something kind of a little special today since it is Cinco de Mayo step away from my normal uh, craft beer reviews and whatnot and just kind of have a little chug and give a few shout outs here and there but anyway hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to join me on all the various social networking sites there'll be links down below somewhere in the description and of course you can subscribe so you don't miss out on any other future awesome videos that I have coming out new videos every week I try to do at least two uh, here lately I've been doing three to five a week, you know, trying to keep it around four or five a week, honestly. Um, so, uh, just constantly trying to give you guys new stuff. Let me know if you have any suggestions, comments, feedback, things you'd like to see, hear, whatever. Let me know down below and I, I always love interacting with you guys, so I will respond pretty quickly. Anyway, again, hope you all have a great time. Stay safe out there. I'm here at home, so everything's good with me. And uh, as always, stay toasty, my friends.